Well, you guys got another video here for you. NVMe drives have just got faster. Now, this one is a new one from Kingston, which is the KC3000 PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 SSD drive. Now, this drive delivers the next level performance using the latest Gen 4 x 4 NVMe controllers and the latest 3D TLC NAND. So if you want to improve your workflow or speed up your productivity, speed up boot times on your computer, game load times, then the Kingston KC3000 series has you covered. You can use this on your PlayStation 5s. You can use this on laptops, desktops. You can improve performance in all of those devices. It is a super fast, piece of kit i'm going to show you how to install it and also we're going to benchmark it so you can see the actual uh, speed test results now this is super easy to install no cables needed you will need the little standoff and the screw uh, for your motherboard which should be in your motherboard box and then once you've got it installed here you screw it back down pretty simple and easy to do you just need to make sure that your motherboard supports pcie 4.0 which is gen 4 otherwise you're not going to get the optimal speeds that this little NVMe drive can deliver. Once you've got this installed, you can uh, basically install Windows. If you've already got Windows installed and you're using it for a secondary drive, you can then basically download the uh, Kingston software. This is gonna allow you to control and manage your NVMe drive. So let's get the software installed and then we can basically get the drive prepared so it can recognize it. Because at the moment it doesn't know what this drive is because it has unallocated space because it's a brand new drive. You can see there's no firmware available for this uh, drive. It's important to keep the firmware updated. This fixes bugs and also gives better performance once you get this fully updated. You can check the health of your drive as well. So let's go ahead and get the drive prepared. I'm gonna go into uh, the disk management here. So right click on your start button, go to disk management, and you should see this box popping up saying initialize drive going to get this done you can see it says unallocated space here so what we need to do is create a new simple volume and this will then allow us to put stuff on our drive and use it for storage uh, for this particular machine because i've already got another nvme drive on there that is actually for my operating system so i've got the beauty of two nvme uh, 4.0 uh, gen 4 drives on this system which means when i'm transferring data from one to the other i'm going to get super fast speeds so if you're a video editor or working graphics and you're moving large files from one drive to the other this will give you super fast speeds so let's quickly check out some of the specs for the kingston kc3000 and i want to show you here exactly what you can get for your money so let's come down a little bit here now they do different sizes of drives for everyone 512 gigabytes is the starting point going right away up to four terabytes now, looking at the low profile graphite aluminium heat spreader here, it's super thin, but it does keep this drive super cool. So you can see the capacities here and the different speeds. So if you've got 512 gigabytes, you're only going to get 3,900 Mbps uh, writes on that one. But on the terabyte one, you're going to get uh, 7,000 uh, Mbps reads and 6,000 Mbps uh, writes. Going on to the two terabyte, you can see it goes up by another 1,000 to 6,000 writes and 7,000 reads. So I'll give you the full specs here. You can see them on the screen. You can read these at your own leisure. I'll leave all the information in the video description. This is using the latest controller, which is the uh, Fison E18. This is the very latest controller, which is going to give you those super fast speeds. These speeds are absolutely mind-blowing. They really are. You can see all of the sequential reads and writes, the IOPS on there. You can see the terabytes written. This is, means that you're going to be able to write a lot of terabytes to this drive without the drive failing. We can also see the MTBF on here as well, which is pretty high. So this is a very high spec drive, which means if you do video editing or hardcore gaming, it's not going to kill your drive very quickly. It's going to last a long time because it comes with a five year warranty. So let's take a look at some of the benchmarks here. I'm going to use Crystal Disk Mark so you can see, and I'm going to select one gig test file, and I'm going to select the drive that we're going to be using here, which is the D drive, which is the Kingston drive, which is the super fast drive. So let's go ahead and give this a test, and we can test the reads and writes on this drive. So let me just quickly make sure everything is up and ready. 
and we can then go ahead and click on all and we should be ready to go so let me just quickly select NVMe inside this list here there we go and we can now uh, click on the all button here and this will give us our test so let's go ahead and do that now I'm not going to bore you to tears while this runs because it does take a fair bit of time but you'll get a, a, an instant result once I show you the first one here which is the first read and you can see they're pretty impressive speed 7104 which is absolutely crazy it really is super fast speeds now the good thing about my motherboard is it does have two m.2 slots on there and they both support uh, the uh, pcie express gen 4 which is going to be uh, this particular type of drive which i'm using here i can have two of these in here and of course if you're made of money you can literally put two super fast large drives in here and transfer data from one to the other and you can see the speeds that you can get here the reads and writes the the sequential reads and writes for the top one here is 7118.14 and the writes is 6057.12 and that is exactly what they were saying on their website the 4k here 2024.31 and the writes is 3400.61 so pretty impressive speeds here i will give you another uh speed test here which is on the four gigabyte file size here we'll go do this one as well and you can see on there as well the temps are pretty good the temps didn't go above 60 celsius which was good for the testing now of course the more uh, work that you're doing on this drive this is intensive benchmarking so it's going to push those temps up a little bit as you would expect and the same thing if you was rendering out a video or if you was transferring large files across and really pushing the drive it may push those temps up but then they would soon cool down and this is the beauty of it here you can see it got to 56 celsius here which is way within the operating temperatures which is 0 to 70 celsius and the storage temperatures was 40 celsius to 85 celsius so we're well within the those uh parameters there which isn't too bad so kingston have done an awesome job on this drive they've hit this one out of the park they really have it's got a limited five-year warranty with free technical support high mtbf and also we've got those higher terabytes written which means you can do some serious writes to this drive without destroying it. it will last many 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 years it really will so it's a really good drive and it runs at pretty good temps so i'll tip me out off to uh, kingston for this one anyway i'll leave all the information and links in the video description if you're looking to get yourself a super fast drive like this just make sure that your motherboard supports PCIe 4.0 and you should be pretty much good to go. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.